A very good morning to all of you. Welcome to the opening ceremony of the Asian Universities Alliance Youth Forum 2019, hosted by the University of Colombo, Sri Lanka. To start off proceedings, it is indeed a great pleasure for me to accompany the dignitaries who have arrived here for the opening ceremony of the Asian Universities Alliance Youth Forum 2019. You were warmly welcomed to the premises according to the Sri Lankan customs by offering a sheaf of beetle leaves, which some of you are definitely familiar with. Throughout the years, the sheaf of beetle leaves has stood as a symbol of welcome and respect, of friendship and goodwill. It is known to be sacred, medicinal and useful from ancient times while having nutritional values as well. So please do accept this customary welcome by our volunteers of the University of Colombo. Fire, it has been there since the inception of civilization. Throughout the history of mankind, fire and lamps have held their fair share of usage in daily life, religion, devotion, and culture. While it comes in various shapes and forms, the, the traditional, traditional oil lamp signifies knowledge, hope, and goodness, just like the flickering fire that lasts through an event, lighting up people's lives and providing hope and happiness. So, ladies and gentlemen, to light up the traditional oil lamp as we start this day's proceedings, we would like to invite Professor Chandrika Vijayaratna, the Vice Chancellor of the University of Colombo, Dr. Olivia Nevras, the Acting WHO Representative to Sri Lanka, Mr. K.A.S. Edward, the Registrar of the University of Colombo, Mr. K.S.T.S. Jayasurya, the Bursa of the University of Colombo, Dr. P. Vijayathunga, Librarian to the University of Colombo, Professor K. P. Hewagamage, the Director of the University of Colombo School of Computing, Professor Ranjan Hetyarachi, the Rector of Sri Pali Campus of the University of Colombo, Professor K. R. R. Mahanama, the Dean of the Faculty of Science, representing all nine faculties of the University of Colombo, Dr. Chaturanga Ranasinghe, the Chairperson of the Asian Universities Alliance Youth Forum 2019. Jutamas Pangpunt from the Chulangkorn University in Thailand. Fong Yi Ting from Hong Kong University of Science and Technology in Hong Kong. Dinmu Khamad Shakman from the Nazarbayev University in Kazakhstan. Yu Huan from the Peking University in China. Karim Mohammad Khalil from Seoul National University in South Korea. Zhou Wen Li from Tsinghua University in China, Corina Noviana from the University of Indonesia in Indonesia, Kaori Okado from the University of Tokyo in Japan, Yamin U from the University of Yangon in Myanmar, CGR Fernando from the University of Colombo, Sri Lanka, and Ruby Pereira from the University of Colombo representing the volunteers of the Asian Universities Alliance Youth Forum 2019.
Ladies and gentlemen, as we welcome you warmly again, let us enter the premises for the Asian Universities Alliance Youth Forum 2019. Yes, Hashir, well, our dignitaries were warmly welcomed with a sheaf of betel leaves according to the Sri Lankan tradition at the entrance of the main auditorium. And then we had the traditional oil lamp, the lighting of the oil lamp symbolizing fire as it will bring as memories of the civilizations of how it all start back in the times with fire. And now as the dignitaries arrive onto the main auditorium, you already might have witnessed a beautiful column decoration outside the premises near the oil lamp. This happens to be where Sri Lanka, being an island nation which is rich in heritage and culture, located in the ancient trade routes of the world, Sri Lanka is gifted with cultural and artistic values of the Indian subcontinent as well as Western Europe. The column decoration, what you saw in front of the auditorium, is a warm welcome for you at the main entrance as a testimony of our Indian heritage. Being a widely embraced Hindu culture practiced in Sri Lanka and various parts of India, the kolam decoration is made using rice flour, chalk powder, and often mixed with bright colored powders. Young women are entrusted with the responsibility of the kolam decoration, which symbolizes prosperity and coexistence, as it is believed to welcome the goddess of prosperity, goddess Lakshmi. While the ingredients of the kolam, including the rice flour, provide food for ants, other insects, and birds, promoting mutual coexistence and love. Something so exquisite comes uh, with value so deep as the cultural diversity of our beautiful nation connects us together. Our geographical location as the pearl of the Indian Ocean shaped our history and identity of into a mutual ethnic and then multicultural and multi-religious nation with Sinhalese, Tamils, Muslims and also Burgers believing in Buddhism, Hinduism, Islam and Christianity. That being said about the warm welcome that you experienced at the UCSC Auditorium here at the Asian Universities Alliance Youth Forum, the opening ceremony of it, it's time for us to stand in attention for the national anthem of Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka.
Sri Lanka, the island of paradise, with captivating and enchanting charms. The island's spell, snared by an age-old magic of scorching sun, great green waters, purple dusks, gushing waterfalls, rising blue mountains, and starry heavens. The wonders of the country of Oasis. Colombo, the heart of the evergreen island, shrouded by the waters of magnificent sea. The city of promises, kindling in all hearts a hope of tomorrow. The harmonious blend of all races whispers to the year the unheard stories of glorious past, rejuvenating the town center. University of Colombo. The pioneering academia of the history of higher seats of learning in Sri Lanka. The most respected and acclaimed higher seat of learning of the nation. A legacy of intellectuals located in the heart of Colombo. The initiative nucleus of the academic atmosphere was formed by amalgamating the Ceylon Medical College, founded in 1870, and the Ceylon University College in 1921, which were incorporated into the university later. By April 1942, the University of Colombo was established by the State Council. The first Vice-Chancellor of the new university, Sir Ivo Jennings, architect of academic nature in Sri Lanka. From colonialism to modernity, our proud history runs over 148 years of an uninterrupted stand with multicultural, multi-ethnic and multi-religious student and staff population. Fostering social harmony, cultural diversity, unity and equal opportunity. Strive to be a center of excellence of regional and international repute. Building synergies between knowledge, education, research and entrepreneurship. It is our vision. The University of Colombo comprises around 185 degree programs. About 25,000 students, 700 academics and researchers. Varsity with the power of empowering the nation. We excel at promoting student-centered teaching practices self-directed learning through assignments which foster discovery of knowledge, creative productions and collaborative projects. Our nine faculties, multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary in nature and strengthened by 56 academic departments, a campus, a school, seven institutes and eight centers. The university widens foreign and local undergraduates' horizons to face the global challenges ahead of them. The Sri Pali campus the one and only campus of the University of Colombo produces graduates in the disciplines of mass media and performing arts. Located in a picturesque and serene environment in Horana, it has been a center for many schools of arts, crafts and sciences and also a center for aesthetic studies for several decades. The academic nature of the Sri Pali campus is shaped by ideological and visionary interventions of the late Rabindranath Tagore, 
the founding father of the Shanti Niketana. Rabindranath Tagore, a Bengali polymath, is considered the ideal of the Sri Lankan art and culture in post-colonial social context. It is evident that Indian influence was the central factor in nourishing Sri Lankan culture. This influence has touched the whole gamut of Sri Lankan tradition since the establishment of the Buddhist teaching in Sri Lankan society. The most prominent evidence could be seen in the relationship with many contemporary scholars of art built with Tagore. The relationship between Rabindranath Tagore and Wilmant A. Pereira, the founder of Sri Pali Kala Niketana, is distinctive amongst them. Further, the present academic and physical development of Sri Pali campus related to media studies, television studies, print studies, radio studies, drama, dancing, music, art and design, and film studies was greatly influenced by the Japanese Reverend Dr. Jun Aoki, who contributed to the development of the campus. Faculty of Graduate Studies offers diploma and postgraduate courses of a multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary nature, concentrating on capacity building by entering into linkages with the outside world to equip the youth with all necessary knowledge. We work hand in hand with outside corporate sectors to ensure that the university caters to the needs of the day. The library supports the university vision with up-to-date materials, books and other resources where both staff and students communicate and express their creative and scholarly ideas in respective disciplines. The international unit of the University of Colombo is proud to have links with almost all internationally recognized universities with the view of providing scholars with the latest global scholarships. The warm and friendly academic atmosphere, together with recreational facilities and other services through experience of enjoyment, physical fitness and increased self-confidence opportunities for togetherness, are also parts of our academic endeavours. Heading to Metropolitan University, surrounded by modern and international outlook and character, with easy access to international information and resource centers, libraries, theaters, sports complexes, and other facilities. Modern technology incorporates with scientific research, blends into writers, poets, critics, and artists. Maintaining international academic standards. Contributing to national development and the health and well-being of all our people. Facing the challenges of an ever-changing world with the latest resources. Supporting our staff to maintain high academic profiles. Inspired by the past, we shape the future towards the 21st century. University of Colombo. Wisdom enlightens. Yes, why not? I, Bowen, would like to hear it from you. I, Bowen. And a very good morning to all of you as we inaugurate the Asian Universities Alliance Youth Forum 2019 Colombo, Sri Lanka. Once again, we officially welcome you to this beautiful Paradise Island, Sri Lanka, as we, University of Colombo, are the proud hosts of this year's Youth Forum 2019. And with that, each and every one of you are special. You grab this opportunity, this lifetime opportunity, as it will come probably once in a lifetime, but will last the entire life. 
as you are going to get all these opportunities, these experiences from here in Sri Lanka. This week, where so many programs, sessions with regards to this year's theme, as well as a lot of development activities and in your interactive sessions will make you take something back to your own nation while spending a beautiful week here in the beautiful Paradise Island. Hashir? Yes, Natalia. Asian Universities Alliance provides a platform to discuss developmental issues in the region and to enhance youth empowerment and to promote cultural diversity and academic exchange among students of various universities in the region. And therefore, as part of its wonderful set of initiatives around the globe, around the years, all of you are gathered here, will have the opportunity in this edition of the Youth Forum to engage with students of other universities in the region to discuss and to collaborate to do great things in the future. You will be in and around the University of Colombo premises and we hope that the week that is ahead holds a lot for you. University of Colombo, we are privileged to host the Asian Universities Alliance Youth Forum 2019 under the theme Arogya Parama Laba, which, is, which means it is your well-being the well-being beyond health, what is important the most. So that's why we have this year's theme, Arogya Paramalaba, and the experts and professionals uh, in the field are ready to share their knowledge and also to take you through uh, various programs lined up for the entire week. And once again, the Pearl of the Indian Ocean welcomes you to this forum. Natalia, what better way to welcome our guests than by an item that depicts the beauty of this nation in its multitude, aesthetically and conceptually. Ladies and gentlemen, our next item in the agenda is to welcome you with a dance performance produced by the students of the Sri Pali campus of the University of Colombo, created specifically for the Asian Universities Alliance Youth Forum 2019. It comprises of all traditional dance forms of Sri Lanka, namely Udarata, Pahatarata, Sabaragamua, Bharata, Kathak, and contemporary dance forms. Please focus your attention to the stage.
Thank you for the brilliant performance by the students of Sri Pali Campus, University of Colombo, and thank you for your applause as well. As Sri Lanka being the host nation of this year's forum, the Executive President of the Asian Universities Alliance for the year 2019-2020, the Vice Chancellor of the University, University of Colombo, Senior Professor Chandrika and Vijayaratna will now officially welcome the gathering. One. Chairperson Dr. Chaturangarana Singh and members of this organizing committee of the Youth Forum, leaders and delegates from all the countries of the AUA Youth Forum, keynote speaker, acting director of the World Health Organization, Dr. Olivia Nieveras, who is, I believe, from the Philippines. Rector, deans, directors, registrar, bursa, librarian, and fellow academics, administrators, particularly of the University School of Computing, and members of the staff. On behalf of our university, that is the University of Colombo, I warmly welcome each and every one of you to the third youth forum of the Asian Universities Alliance. As a founder member of this admirable alliance and the pioneer seat of higher learning in Sri Lanka, which is reaching 150 years in 2020, the University of Colombo has combined all its resources to host this meeting. This youth forum has been given the highest level of support by every one of us and organized with the most meticulous of commitment and dedication. Our staff and students alike have volunteered their services with intense cohesion and dedication. And I'm certain that this youth forum will achieve all its objectives and be conducted with great distinction. We are indeed deeply conscious of being members of the consortium of the widely respected universities in Asia that is home to more than half the world populace. I'm of the firm view that together our students have a most unique capability. As the guardians of our future, you, our students, play a role as change agents. You can leverage an effective translation of your rich educational yield for the betterment of Asia and the world at large in every sphere of human development. <coughs> Youth leaders of universities wherever located belong to highly invigorating free thinking and unique learning environments. While youth development programs must meet basic physical development and social needs, the AUA Youth Forum seeks to position our students as leaders in your own communities and also take up positions of leadership in be it companies, organizations and professional associations in the coming years. Through youth leadership programs, young people gain the skills and knowledge to lead civic engagement, education reform in particular, and community organization activities that are deemed so vital for society at large. All members of all the member universities of the AU and no doubt aspire to reach these goals, but certainly we must not function as silos. We need to network amongst the best of the best, which is you. High-ranking universities are indeed assets within local communities, countries, and regions. And we are blessed to be a part of such respected national and regional think tanks. Indeed, our own student populations, under the able guidance of AUA's expertise in education and research in the different disciplines, has the ability to support our national and regional policies perennially. The collective AUA visions do aim for our graduates to have the distinctive characteristic of being decent, upright, capable, competent, and confident leaders. I repeat, decent, upright, capable, competent, 
and confident leaders, which you indeed are. We do ensure that our products can engage with society in any sit setting with efficiency and effectiveness while maintaining international recognition as committed professionals. You are our chief asset and indeed our future. And you need to be collectively a strong, professional, independent Asian force. Such a force would form a nucleus of intellect that generates new ideas for every sphere of society and guide our individual countries. Together, you can contribute to the vast landscape of Asia and help towards the development of policy frameworks through an evidence-based process and sustain our university's high position in the international league tables. At pa as partners, you have come together to exchange views, agree and dissent, learn from one another, network, shape the future, and above all, relish in this networking. While extending a warm welcome, I thank you for visiting our university and look forward to strong bonds of friendship between the students of all our universities. Your forum enlivens us, all the academics and scholars, who look forward with hope to the future of Asia. Your building of strong and sustainable collaborations across the geographic boundaries will be for the betterment of the world. It would be remiss of me not to recall the multiple players, particularly the AUA Secretariat in Tsinghua University and our own international office led by Dr. Manohari, uh, sorry, Dr. Mano Ratna, the ABLE Organizing Committee led by the youthful Dr. Chaturangarana Singh, I must say they're all very youthful, except me, and the central administration with our own student volunteers and alumni who have worked together tirelessly. Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, this year's Youth Forum addresses SGD, Sustainable Development Goal number three on health and well-being. We all know that well-being is not just the absence of disease, but needs multidisciplinary commitment to, its true, to maintain its true sense of physical, mental, spiritual, and psychological well-being. And we thank the WHO and other UN agencies who have joined hands to strategize our plans and activities. I wish to place on record once again the sterling quality of the leadership and commitment of our organizing committee of the Youth Forum. Every aspect has been looked at with precision and care. A wonderful program awaits you that will certainly help you think out of the box, make innovative plans, be committed to be change agents in each of your countries, be it schools, societies, and workplaces, and meanwhile, we have given some time for you to relax, enjoy, particularly the splendor of our beautiful country, savor the flavor of our tradition and hospitality, and take back wonderful memories. I wish you a delightful and memorable week of action and plans. Thank you, and I go on. Thank you very much, Madam, for that warm welcome extended to our guests here and for declaring open the Youth Forum 2019. The, the Asian Universities Alliance Youth Forum 2019 Organizing Committee focused on health and well-being and strategized to connect youth across Asia to be in sync with each other, to bring change and be change agents to achieve well-being beyond health. Hence, the organizing committee decided to create a theme song which resonates, Ayubo Asia, or Long Live Asia. The Sri Pali campus of the University of Colombo, they have composed this theme song for the Asian Universities Alliance Youth Forum 2019 with the theme, Arogya Paramalaba, health is wealth. And the aim of empowering youth to produce a healthy future for the region and world is embedded in the gist of this song. And meanwhile, the song ends by wishing all of you a long life. So let's give a big round of applause to these young producers of the Sripali campus and focus our attention onto the screen for the theme song of the Asian Universities Alliance Youth Forum 2019.
Aibo Weba, welcome to Sri Lanka. Ladies and gentlemen, as I inform you with pr privilege and pleasure that the theme song will be available in the AUAYF Facebook page and in the website of AUAYF, auayf.cmb.ac.lk. I would also like to make this announcement to give a big round of applause again to our producers from Sri Pali campus for putting up this wonderful theme song. Now, we call upon the chairperson of the Asian Universities Alliance Youth Forum 2019, Dr. Singha, to start the forum proceedings. You could be the one to change the fate of the nations. You could be the beacon of hope. You could be the leader of all tomorrows. Endure, stage, stanch, strong as an oak. I bow Asia. I quote that from our theme song, meaning long live Asia. I'd like to welcome you all to the Asian Universities Alliance Youth Forum 2019, organized by the University of Colombo. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and again, I go on. Vice Chancellor of University of Colombo, Senior Professor Chandrika and Vijayaratna, the Executive President of the Asian Universities Alliance to 2019-20, the Acting Director of the WHO Sri Lanka Office, our keynote speaker today, Dr. Olivia Nevaras and her office, Rector of the Sri Pali Campus, Professor Ranjan Hetiarachi, Director of University of Colombo School of Computing, Professor Heva Gamage, Deans representing all faculties and the senior academic staff, the senior administrative staff of University of Colombo, including the registrar, bursa, and the librarian, the resource persons of the Asian Universities Alliance Youth Forum, my colleagues, and my colleagues who have been here with me in organizing this event, and of course, our energetic volunteers. And most importantly, our friends and our guests today who have traveled from Asia to Sri Lanka, from the Far East to Mid East. I'd like to welcome you all, dear friends and students from the member universities of the Asian Universities Alliance, welcoming you to Sri Lanka and also University of Colombo. So the theme for this year, as said by our Vice Chancellor, is health and well-being, which is the third sustainable development goal, as endorsed by the United Nations and also accepted by all member, member countries. The objective of the Asian Universities Alliance Youth Forum is threefold. First is to develop, discuss and develop of the developmental issues in the region. Second is youth empowerment, that's you. Third is the academic, social, and cultural exchange between our member universities and of course between the countries. Since the risk of non-communicable diseases that you must have heard of, the NCDs like diabetes, heart disease, has been an epidemic and becoming a pandemic in the last couple of decades, especially in the region in Asia. So that's why the Asian Unities Alliance has adopted this as a developmental issue for this year's forum. And also to youth 
to discuss about it. And we are stepping into the fourth industrial revolution in the digital age, and we see a lot of unforeseen challenges which you should be able to define and also solve because it is you who will be living in the next couple of decades or even more decades to come. So you will be the architects of defining well-being beyond the health. The five-day program the organizing committee has developed focuses on achieving above objectives. And it includes also academic, social, and cultural events. You will be involved in lectures, discussions, field visits, workshops, and many more exciting events. And the, all these activities are directed at developing maybe six or seven projects that could be potentially to be implemented at the individual, community, and regional level, focusing on social and commercial determinants of these problems that we are facing. And you are expected to present that to a panel of experts, including the WHO. So it could be taken up to the next level of implementation. You will be functioning in groups, especially on six themes, nutrition, physical activity, alcohol, tobacco, and substance use, mental health, sexual health, and climate justice and panatally health. The sessions will be handled by a group of experts from medicine, law, public health, social sciences, policy, humanities, and also performing arts. You could see the wide spectrum of specialties coming into play here. We want to achieve the 17th SGD, or the Sustainable Development Goal, which is intersector collaboration. We want you to understand the importance of this collaboration to achieve well-being. So more for about the academic activities, we will be having more social and cultural activities. We'll be traveling with you to the videos you saw, the Sri Pali campus, which is situated away from city in a scenic, nature-friendly environment where you will experience in real, real situations with art, culture, traditions, and also sport, the traditional Sri Lankan heritage, and also you know you are invited to today's welcome dinner at the, at the evening where you will be coming with your national dresses so we can see how colorful they are. Since there are many more events to come, I'll stop here. And your app and also our organizing committee will tell you more about the activities. So on behalf of our organizing committee, which comprises of academics, non-academics, and whole staff, of faculty of, of University of Colombo and very energetic 100 volunteer students, I again warmly welcome you to enjoy, connect, make friends, and explore well-being beyond health in this beautiful island of Sri Lanka. Aibo Asia, Aibo An. Thank you very much, Dr. Anna Singha, for that comprehensive introduction to the Youth Forum 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, may I now call upon all of you, probably closer to the stage, to pose for a group photograph. And this will be followed by refreshments, which is uh, almost ready at the upper floor of this building. So yes, this invitation is to all of you. From Natalia and myself, it's been a pleasure hosting you today. Enjoy the rest of the week. Thank, Thank you. you.